Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner, and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today, we have the pleasure of meeting with Roderick Jefferson, and he is a sales enablement consultant and also the author of a wonderful book on the topic. Welcome, Roderick. Gerhard, thanks for having me on. I'm absolutely honored. Can you help me understand why companies should, right now in this economy, outsource sales enablement? Well, I think there's a number of reasons, Gerhard, and, and it begins with, although, and unfortunately, we've lost a number of folks in-house, there's still a number of projects that are still paramount inside of companies. That's one. I think another reason is what you get with a competent consultant is someone that's literally been there and done that before. They've gone through a number of iterations. They may have worked with small companies, large companies, and even companies outside of the space that you're in where they can kind of harness and call all of those best practices and share them with you. So what is your advice for sales leaders on how to energize the sales force in this uh, really tough economy? Well, I think it begins with being empathetic and focusing on not only IQ, but EQ. Especially in times like this, people are worried, they're concerned, they're frustrated, they may be scared. So I think as a leader, the best thing you can do is one, own up to this, be accountable, own the adoption and the execution and the positive modeling of what you want to see from your people. Let's step back for a moment and bring a little more humanity and compassion into selling. I think that makes a lot of sense. And what you're saying is that it has to come to the top, but sales enablement can help uh, drive their cultural message and embed it in the training program. Oh, 100%. I believe in order for enabled, enablement to be successful, it has to be woven into the fabric of a company. It can't be just kind of one-off initiatives or only training. This is where we have an opportunity as enablement consultant to really partner closely across all of the lines of business, not just sales, but marketing, product marketing, product management, HR, engineering, and then kind of be that hub that connects the dots, if you will, of all of those different lines of business, all with a common goal. So what are the advantages for a company to outsource sales enablement? Is it uh, saving money? Or is it speed? Or... What, what is the number one factor? Well, I think if it's done properly, it's a little bit of both. It's that speed, as I said earlier, of working with someone that's been there and done it. They're not coming in and recreating the wheel. And if they do it properly, I think once you go through the initial assessment phase, you'll have a deeper understanding of exactly where you're going and how you're going to get there. And you'll get a feel for whether or not you're talking to the right to consultant for your company doesn't mean that they're a bad consultant. It just may not be a fit for where you guys are going. The next piece is understanding exactly where you are in the maturation cycle of your company and where you want to go next. This is where a consultant can help you kind of spec out those short, mid-range, and long-range plans. And then finally, someone that is truly a partner that's going to come in and work side-by-side -side with you and back to the cost piece, somebody that you don't have to worry about all the in-house overhead benefits, things of that sort, but you still get that level of consistency and professionalism. How many companies have you worked for to, to make a difference? Upwards of 10 at this point. As a consultant and previous to that, I was an enablement practitioner in-house myself. You know, companies like Salesforce and Oracle and Marketo and a number of different spaces. So I think what I bring is not only the consulting piece, but also companies from the smallest all the way up to some of the largest and most effective companies, I think, on the planet. How can people get in touch with you? You can find me on LinkedIn at Roderick Jefferson. You can find my company at RoderickJefferson.com or find me on Instagram at Roderick underscore J underscore associates. Or you can find me on Amazon.com where you can find my book, Sales Enablement 3.0. Thank you so much, Roderick. Thank you, Gerhardt.